morning and welcome to vlogmas day 14 as you can see i am still in zombie mode i sleep so bad and today <coughs> is a quieter day which i'm very happy about because i'm just wrecked although for me it really isn't a quiet day at no. all because today at school i go on school trip to see a movie, and it's most likely the Grinch. We don't know for sure what movie they are going to see with the school, yeah. but some of the higher classes, and Owen is the first of the like the youngest class, but he's still going to go to see a movie, but we have no idea what it is. So the rumor says that it's the Grinch. We're not sure. So you can tell us when you come back. Okay. Back from the school run and uh, first thing I'm going to do just because I don't want to forget is to stitch the badges on Owen's scout jumper. So then it's done and I know I will forget when it goes back because we'll just be back and still in the unpacking mode. So I'm going to do it now. So it's done and then I'll get on with baking. I think I'm going to do the quiches first. I'm going to do the standard one. Uh, and while it's baking, I'll cook like all the veg and stuff for the second one. So then once it's done, I'll do that. I also, I ran out of white chocolate last night. The recipe calls for one milky bar, chocolate bar. And they used to be bigger than what they are instead of having grams. So um, the new one is just not enough. So I need more to do some decorating on the things I'm making today. So I'm going to go to Lidl with Alfie. I'm also hoping to find this thing we have in France for Christmas called Nougat. And sometimes in Lidl they have it and Therese loves it. So I'm hoping that I can find some or something like that in Lidl. And Alfie likes to go to Lidl because they have the freshly baked cookies and he loves them. So I said to him, like, if you help me with the shopping, you could have a cookie. I do bribe my children. I do. Uh, but sometimes the only way to get stuff done, so I have no shame in it. Um, <coughs> and um, <coughs> so I'll do that after. So then this afternoon I can make the rest, and that should be me done by tonight. And I would like to have a bath tonight and just relax a bit and do a face mask. I'm, I'm starting to break out again, and um, I'm due my period at some point. So it's probably just that but i just want to you know do try and do something about it anyway for now i'm gonna just stitch um so it's actually physical they have some special skill badges and they can get these five different areas this one is the physical one and then they can get three different levels of it so he's had this and an extra stripe and he can get another stripe again um if he does another physical one which what is working towards this is all for thing they do outside of the scouts but something that's like an achievement that they work towards so his last stripe for the physical badge will be his dance exams so if he passes dance exams then he will guess get his last stripe and then there is different uh, there's like environment and skills and but that's that's his target at the moment is to get this one and then when you stitch all the triangles together it makes a little wheel with these all around and then there's more badges going but i it's only starting and i don't know much yet it's only officially a scout since yesterday when he got this they did like a little ceremony so uh yeah i'm gonna start that this box is where i store the threads that i use well i have a massive box of thread but i have this little box to i have a selection of them and these are the ones I used for my hand stitched stuff to have them handy and this is a box that was my granddad's and it is there's a date underneath and it says Monday the 5th of September 1932 it's a bit damaged and a bit cracked there but I absolutely love it it's a proper I mean it's amazing how old it is and that is still there this was um, a brand of <coughs> mints like after dinner mints um but yeah i absolutely love it and i love the content too and i love this i made it like a pin cushion that i i love this collection of fabric i haven't used my threads for ages i used to stitch so much around christmas because i had loads of orders and this year i only took a few i still need to make something which i will show you 
later on but for now let's see that yellow that should work yeah i think that's probably gonna be the closest one yeah that will work so it's now 11 i have to go and get out in 20 minutes so i don't have time to do everything for the other quiche i have the first quiche in the oven and i've made the dough for the pastry for the second one but it's sitting in the fridge for now i am going to start making a bag for the things i have to bring tomorrow because i have to bring quite a lot of presents and including one that is a little bit gigantic i am going to show you because i'm assuming by the time we get there the vlog i'm going to release the vlog in the afternoon when we're already there so then there's no issue with spoiling surprises i think that's what i'm going to do yes i'll schedule it for the afternoon once i know we've already arrived there so then i know for sure that i don't spoil surprises but everything is in our bedroom so don't mind the mess is getting house plants so there are three up here <coughs> one is here and you get that back to bring some food <coughs> and that was one of the plants that did not survive so i got something else instead which i will show you in a minute so then we have this very big plant that has been sitting in our room since i got it and this is all the presents we have to bring so for therese i have some celebrations because she loves them and she always says that she doesn't get them usually then what i got to replace that plant is um in here it's a uh, how do you call hyacinth but it's a set with a pot and you plant them and you see them grow with the bulbs then that's the bike pump i packed before for her husband and also some chocolates for him which she likes so it's actually funny because the adults presents take more room than the kids um then we have a big lego duplo box for her youngest and then some lego for her middle daughter uh, this is like a little mermaid set for her eldest that she wanted uh, and she also collects lol dolls so i got her one of the little sisters and then the middle and youngest girl always ha also have a soft toy that they wanted in there so that's the that's going to be the kids bags if i can fit everything in no, it might not work out i might have to fit my goal was to fit all of Therese's presents in there because i don't know how to wrap these pots without breaking them so my i'm thinking if i put them in here and then wrap this so the plants can still breathe with the plastic wrapping I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to do it like this because then, you know, the little plants are there. They're not right on the bottom, but at least everything is in there. And I can just carry this in. I'm just worried about the plants getting damaged. In. I might put some tissue around and maybe put... Anyway, it's, <laughs> I, want you to, I want to wrap it somehow, but it's so hard to find a way. And this, I have bought big bows and I'm just going to stick... A bow on the pot or something I mean I can't possibly wrap this it's not gonna survive so yeah I'll probably put a bow on it in the um, yeah I got all the kids presents to fit in there this is probably just gonna go on its own and this too I'll put it in there for now I'll just put those tomorrow morning before we go and we'll have to make sure this one in the car is wedged in between things so it doesn't fall over because it on the when I bought it in the shop I lay, I put it flat on the ground to so make sure he wouldn't move uh, but yeah it's been hard to hide since <laughs> I bought some big bows like this and I'm thinking yeah, I might just stick them inside one on the pot and then two inside the plants <laughs> I just don't want to damage the plants so I think it's just gonna be that I'm gonna put the bows inside and say this is wrapped so in here I'm gonna start packing this is gonna be my carrier bag for some of the food so I'm going to start putting in all the stuff I need to bring that are not in the fridge. And then I'll make a list on the fridge of what needs to be moved from the fridge to this tomorrow morning. I have to get out of here now. I'm just trying to find my phone. I've put my phone down somewhere and I keep doing this. I must have brought it upstairs. Um, and then I'm going to go off to Lidl, get the few things I'm missing and come home. And this afternoon 
I will be doing um, all the rest of the baking for tomorrow. I just realized too that I meant to bring some vegetable. Oh, there it is. It's ringing with the alarm for Um I meant to bring some vegetables and dips and I forgot to buy them. <laughs> so good thing I checked before going to the shop. I will buy them at the same time. <coughs> I don't know if they, um, Little does ready-made dips, but I guess I can check. We have a Tesco nearby too, so if that fails, I'll just go to Tesco. So here is my Kishloen done. There is the veg, whoops, team, to go into the leek and mushroom quiche. I'm blind, blind baking the um, pastry for now. My kitchen is such a mess, it's getting <laughs> on top of me. So I am gonna finish to make the filling for the quiche. And while <coughs> I wait for this to be finished, I can fill it. I'm gonna give a quick tidy. And then just the um, little Rice crispy thing treats to do, but I'll do them after the school run. I don't think I will be able to finish that quiche before I need to pick Owen up. But you know what? Standing up for so long for the last few days, my lower back is killing me. But <coughs> not long now. I think I'll try and sit down at the table to do the Rice crispy treats as much as I can. <coughs> I bought a lot more white chocolate than I needed so then I don't have to run out to shops again but yeah I'm happy with my quiche although it's quite crumbly the pastry so hopefully it holds but um, once it cools down already it will be a bit easier so I have my two quiches done I'm in the process of cleaning up everything everything there I've managed to clear this and this I need to clean it up still and then I'll hoover everything, but yet another very full sink. And then I'm going to wrap everything and letting it cool down. And you don't even think about it. And I have here, cooling down here, my little uh, Rice Krispie puddings. I had some mix, enough mix left, so I made like a tray bake one as well. I'm going to try and feel Alfie. He's singing a Christmas song. But Probably gonna stop as soon as I arrive. Typically, he stop, and typically he stops whenever I film. Anyway, these are all done <coughs> and ready to go tomorrow. So I am going to keep them in the fridge for now. That's officially all the stuff for tomorrow done and everything is clean and tidy minus that tray that i just need to do but that's that's it i'm so happy i even cleaned the floor with my hoover and it's so handy it's so quick so now what time is it i have no idea 10 past 5 i have 45 minutes before i go to get james so i'm gonna sit down <laughs> and continue watching i'm watching sick note uh, one of my friends told me I should watch it because he thought I would like it. And I love Rupert Grant. I mean, I have a bit of a crush on him. I'm not gonna lie. And I thought, oh sure, it can't hurt. So I am going to watch this and just rest a bit. Tonight I'm tempted to actually have a bath. I've been meaning to have a bath with a face mask for... Since the day we went to Belfast with James. And since then, it's been so crazy, I have not had the time. Uh, the boys were sick and there was always something. But uh, yes, I am probably gonna do that tonight because it might help with my achy back and achy feet. And my skin is starting to flourish, let's say. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop vlogging here for now and it's probably going to be a very short vlog for today but really i mean you've seen everything i've done uh, i've just spent a lot of time baking and all that so i will see you tomorrow in another vlog which should be if all goes to plan quite festive because that's our first uh christmas dinner official one 
uh, we are annual Christmas dinner with Therese and her family and yes yeah, so I will show you on that we only we have done class before that and then also James's MOT which fingers crossed will be all good because I mean we've changed more than we need to change including a clutch so hopefully it all goes well but I'll see you tomorrow and I hope you're still having a lovely Christmas preparation time